Hello everyone, it's Ewan from GameEngineStart.com um, Beating the site's a kind of weird indie game editor-in-chief title uh, Make up a title yourself um, I thought we should do a quick video to take a look at this This is uh, Return, Return of the Obra Din. I think hopefully they're pronouncing that right um, This is the new game by uh, Lucas Pope Who famously, or yeah, pretty famously at this point Made uh, Papers, Please last year She's actually one of our favorite, or one of my favorite games of last year. Um, as you can see from the top right, this is the development build. This is like an exceptionally early build that he put out uh, just today. Um, so I kind of want to have a look at it. I have basically put this up to make sure it will record, and that's about it. I am recording. Yes, I am recording. Um, I just put it up to make sure it will record. I haven't seen anything about this game except the first kind of little section. So we'll see. Uh, let's just do this. Um yeah. In case you didn't know, this is again super super early. First time this has ever been sh really shown. This is the first time I think this game's ever been mentioned actually. Most content is missing and there are fridges. Sure. Okay. Company called on me, said you need ferry to the ship. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't no it's a conversation. Okay. Shouldn't be back, you know, the Obra Dinn. That's very foreboding. It's a creature. It's a ship. Who knows? Could be cursed. It's an item, maybe? Box there. What's that? Probably stop in a few minutes. Okay, we're here. So the first thing I have to say is just look at this fucking game. Um, find the Crewmaster rulebook. Okay. Um, space to use items. So yeah, just look at this goddamn game. Like it's, it's obviously three D, but the way it's rendered, like it's got that cool pixel effect. That kind of reminds me of, kind of early adventure games. Um, it's weird. Is it, yeah, it's got that kind of early ga early adventure game kind of resolution to it, and that kind of. Almost original Game Boy color palette. It's really weird, but it, it it's really cool to to um, move about in. It's very very strange. Um, it, it does come with four modes. So you've got like your frame mode, your super frame mode, and then you've got full screen, which is this, this kind of blur on it, which kind of blurs all the pixels. But I think what's the point of that? You want the sharp, the sharp proper proper pixel rendering. Oh, that's very foreboding. Can I interact with it? Nope. I don't even know what this game is. Like, I, I didn't know the name of his next game. I didn't know what it was going to be like. I just saw on Twitter today... Oh, I have a hand. I just saw on Twitter today that he's put this demo out. Or this, what you call this, an early build preview thing. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm liking how this is. How this goes. So what am I looking for? The, the logbook. Hi. Your box. Put it here. Okay. So, um, so yeah, like I said, Papers Please. Oh, locked. Uh, Papers Please was one of our favorite games of last year. Um, it was known for not exactly being like fun is probably the wrong word to use. Um, it was. It was fascinating. It was a very kind of very different. It started to bring up a lot of the, the, a lot of kind of people saying, "Well, why do you play it if it's not fun?" It's like, well, it was an experience. It was a way of them. It's a way for for people to kind of express. It, it puts you in the shoes of people you wouldn't normally even think about. Like, for instance, a passport, a person who checks passports at border control. Like, when am I ever going to be that person? Like, probably never. But. It was really cool to kind of be put there and say, okay, ooh, did I close the game? No, I didn't. Um, it was really cool to be put there and being like, well, what is, oh, there's my box. What would that feel like to have to make these choices? So let's see what's in this box. Ooh. Uh, Mental Mortis. Remember death. Oh, so now I've got this. Was it a pocket watch? Okay. So now what? I just, 
I know I've already said it, but god damn it, I love how this game looks. It's absolutely incredible. I should look at the recording, it's got these weird squares on it, which it hopefully doesn't come out in the final video, but... Um, well, not, not... The sky has those weird squares on it. That's really bizarre. That's not showing up in the game, by the way. Um, okay, snuck its pocket watch. Are these doors open now? Let's say remember death. Uh, very small area. Like this ship is not huge. Um, is that a dog bowl? Bottom of a barrel? I don't know what that is. So I can't jump. I can't. I'm looking at the controls on the other screen. There's nothing there. It's, it's, it's was the mouse in space. That's kind of it. Hmm. Can I get up there? For no reason, no. Can I use the wheel? So this is the problem with going into these games completely blind, is that if you get stuck, you get stuck, because I do not have a clue where I'm supposed to go. It looks like I can get down there, but I don't know how yet. Um, let's see. In there. Block. So I don't know even what this is done in. Like I would, I was, like it, it seems kind of cliche at this point almost to think it's a Unity game, but the, the, the way it's, uh, the programmer going to be talking now. The way the data files are laid out in the in the zip file you get when you download this thing, it doesn't look like a normal Unity game. So I don't know what they're rendering this in. But it's really really cool. Oh. Oh, remember death! So naturally you go to the dead body. Okay, you've got me interested. Captain! Oh, voice acting! Interesting. Kick it in. Ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells! Sounds like an almost authentic you Scottish accent. Exactly what can I give you? Ah. Oh, fuck! Okay. Oh, that is... Oh, this is cool! So are they actually moving? No, they're not. So time has stopped. I can, I can seem to be able to move about. Oh, look, just look at that! Just look at how cool that looks. That is amazing. Okay, let's investigate. So now I can get into the... Can I get past the captain? No, maybe not. No, okay, so what else can I do? Uh, that guy's been shot and he's pretty much gone. He's oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I keep clicking off the off the game. That's not the right button. I went to E there to be used. Looks like my watch has got Oh Huh. So maybe the concept is that I can, I can jump back in time for like fleeting moments um, to see what possibly happened here. Oh, so there's an air body. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I can, I can look at the the history of or what's happened to some of the bodies that I find. So that one out there was the guy that we we saw get shot. So one of these is probably the captain. So let's. Captain's probably not the guy in the corner. So let's have a look at this one. This is a really cool concept. It's got like almost like a, a vanishing of Ethan Carter aspect to it. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. <laughs> Again, it's very... Oh, awesome. Okay, so I've got like... This looks like I've got like maybe a minute to do something here, but... So what did I do? So there's a body there, and that's not there anymore. Um, let's see, what can I use? I'll figure in the dark bits, like the bits that are not in the light. They're still rendered with that kind of wireframe. The shadows and the lighting is what makes it... 
Oh, hey, there's a guy. So he's coming down. So maybe I've got to work out how they died or what killed them? I mean, I understand this is... I'm, I'm making a lot of this up because we don't actually know what this game's about yet, like, at all. Or what we're supposed to be doing, but, um... So that looks like the captain that was shooting the gun in the last one. With the long hair. He takes that guy out. So, can I use anything? It's fading away. Interesting, okay. Let's see. There's the knife. He's used, and there's the spear. So let's... So there's a guy out here, so I'm assuming this might be the guy that was out there. Let's have a look. Oops. I keep clicking to use instead of pressing space. Oops, somebody get hurt. It's weird, the violence is almost worse when you don't hear it. When you don't see it, sorry. When you only hear it, it's... Yeah, so that was the sound of him. It's, it's the stop. It's, it's the just the fact the frozen, the little particles in the air is what make this look really cool. So where's the guy that was out here? Was that him? That may have been him. So... Oh, what was that? I managed to bring up my... I brought my watch there. Is there something I missed? No, it's just... It just looks like it brings up at certain moments. And then it fades away again. It's a really cool effect though. I'm kind of wary about showing all of. Th oh, it's open up this now. Kind of showing all of this because I don't know how much. You know, obviously, like obviously, this is the full game, but it's not gonna, all the content's not going to be in yet. But I'm also kind of wary about. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, there's a gun. So. So I'm willing to bet this. The, the mechanics might not be in here yet, but a lot of the the different elements are there. That's a, that's a gruesome image right there. Man. So, oh, so there's, oh, so she was, so she must be already dead because she's in the same position she was when I found the body, so. Okay, so we're, we are, we are progressing through the story. So we started here with him dying and then he died, the captain killed him he jumped down from there and he died. And then the captain. Is that the captain? Is he the hair? Yeah. He shot himself. How much time have we got left? Oh, I need to stop hitting that button. We're almost done. So she must have died. I'm wondering if it was an illness or, or maybe it was an accident. Who knows? It's a very underused thing in games the very restrained um, storytelling because like there's been no animation so far like it's just a static world but the the voice acting and the, the sounds are enough for you to like kind of reading a novel you fill it all in your head and um, what's, what's happening so let's find out what happened to again F to use no um, let's see what happened to Abigail First doesn't look like a violent death, so it must have been something else. Stay inside. The 
or snapped. Oh! It's the end of the development build. The fate of two crew members can be reduced at this time. Thanks for playing. Interesting. So that's kind of where we end it. Um, this is fascinating. Like I, I downloaded this on the strength of the, the visuals alone, but man, if this is all about... You have the ability to go back and see how people died and then try and work out their stories. Like, I am a huge fan of that. Like, as much as I, I didn't like how um, Ethan Carter ended the, the actual, the main gameplay part of just being able to to go back and figure out how they put the murder scene back together was, was the best part of that game by far. So, if the guy who did Papers, Please can make me, can, can craft something that does something similar to that. And storytelling the way it looks like it's doing. Like I'm hoping that the the use of text and like just black the plain screen and voice acting and text is how they tell a lot of the story because, like I was saying, you you fill in a lot of it in your imagination and it's it's really really fascinating. Um yeah, so this is this is where this is where we'll leave this. Uh, this is the uh, the development build of the return the return of the Obra Dinn. Um you can download it from. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the video, um, but you can download it from, if you just search for Lucas Pope, you'll you'll be able to find this, or just search for Obra Dinn, um, and you'll be able to get it there. Yeah, this is this is fascinating, right? I, I, we, we will be keeping an eye on this one, um, and checking back in if there's new builds or anything like that. But yeah, um, thank you for watching, uh, GameEngineStart.com for everything else we do, and we'll be back soon with more nonsense later. Bye bye.